Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I will going to share my top five deck for the triple LXJ tournament, which will be start in twenty hours. So probably I will do live stream to, uh, tomorrow for this. So stay tuned for that. But here are my top five decks for this. Obviously, first in triple uh, LXJ golem is really strong. So this is the current really good golem deck with night witch and the skeleton king which uh, with uh, you can charge the ability with the tombstone skeleton and night witch batch, batch and technically generally the lighting is really strong in this with uh, you can combine it with baby nado as well barbarrel is a solid uh, small spell you can go for arrow as well but i still prefer barbarrel because it's just very versatile card and if we talk about deck number two this is the uh, this is the last time finish first lava minor deck but i have a little bit twist in this because skeleton king is really strong right now so i have added a tombstone and skeleton king because they simply pair up really well and you have two spells so you generally just going to go with lava and try to get much more value from spells and try to defend and at last moment you can just go with the minor and chip down the tower so this is my deck number two and moving on deck number three this is the probably the best triple elixir pekka deck because you generally need ram rider for defense in triple elixir and pekka is really strong with darkwings and bandit is just to apply pressure uh, you have lighting and arrow to kill everything literally lighting and arrow combination can almost kill like executioner those things that survive with fireball or jab it can literally die with i mean those who can survive with lighting will going to die immediately to the arrow that's why we have arrow in it baby dragon is really strong you can uh, and electro vision is really good with pekka so any yeah, ram rider is your uh, win condition here but uh, more, most of the time you're going to use it defensively and bandit and dark means behind the pekka is mostly your win condition and moving on to deck number nine this is the ridiculous deck because this deck is really strong and it is been like meta for every season this is a lumber loon classic version we have baller for defense we have number loon push technically if you don't break through with a lumber and loon then you just have to focus on stacking unit with baby dragon inferno dragon if you have like three four uh, like two three baby dragon and inferno dragon you can just pair up with a lumber loon other side they have to focus on defend there and you can just freeze on either side to win the tower that's why this deck is really strong in triple l is two although it lacks a lot of thing but the freeze here is the bonus point with freeze nado you can literally have uh, you can stop literally everything with the help of inferno dragon to dps the unit and for splash you have baby dragon and baller for the ground and moving on deck number five this is a really ridiculous deck because you have spawners as well as uh graveyard as your win condition and it has giant skeleton because giant skeleton is really good in triple triple LZ because when it dies uh, you can just need everything into the bomb of giant skeleton and, and it can clear almost everything and you have flying machine and japis for uh, to irritate your opponent if they try to use any spells on any of your buildings and it will just synergize well with the skeleton giant skeleton so yeah these are my top five deck i hope you like this video if you do make sure hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more cash review until then see you tomorrow in the live stream of this global tournament peace